<laughs> Overall impression? Um, tough fight. Uh, it was. I hope it was action-packed for the Irish fight fans, and I come here to do a job. Got the job done, and I'll be sleeping nice and comfortably tonight. What about that third round, Tyson? How badly you hurt were you? Uh, to be honest with you, it's heavyweight boxing. You get it, and uh, you recover, and that's what it is. That's what fitness is about. And uh, just showed that I come back after being uh, a bit in the third round and uh, done the job. But you did acknowledge you were hurt? Oh, I was. Uh, I caught. I tell you what it was. It wasn't like I was hurt as well as like he caught me beside the head while I was like off balance. If you know what I mean. Mm. And like it made me like fall off balance a little bit, but I was all right, you know. Were you surprised how much he was able to take? Because he took. He took some shots, but you know what it was like. He was ready for getting like. I don't know if you saw the Brazilian fight when I knocked him clean out. He was ready for one of them. I tell you, because he was going any second. That fellow was taking too many big shots. And I'm glad the referee stopped him when he did because sometimes injuries can come at that point. Mm. Any idea what's fight? next? Sorry. What did you make a fight at the King's Hall? I thought it was brilliant. I thought all the people got behind me, cheered me on, and it was uh, really good up to fight here again, you know? Do you know that you're the first heavyweight headliner here? Yeah, that's a very proud thing to do in the King's Hall in Belfast. Mm. Hopefully I can go on now and do big things, win the world title. So you're looking at the Klitschko's next? Or? I'm looking at anybody who they put in front of me. Um, avoid nobody, as always. And uh, if, if it's going on, it can happen, you know what I mean? If he gets to fight for me, I'll fight him. If not, no problem. Well, would you like to be back here in November? Definitely. Tyson, I'm going to ask Mick if I can come back in November and fight yeah. again. Because the reception I got here was out of this world. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good opponent again, you know? You always want the Irish title, Tyson. Um, yeah. Would that be, I think, down the line as well? Well, I've always wanted one, but it's looking like we're not uh, ever going to get an Irish opponent to face me. So if you can <laughs> if you can coach Martin Rogan into a fight, <laughs> yeah, I'll just laugh at that one. We'll try. <laughs> if you can, I'm serious. ready and waiting. But if not, I don't think I'm ever going to get it by now. Because Coleman Barrett don't want to fight, and neither does Big Rogan. I don't think Big Kevin McBride wants to fight either. So I've had it. Unless they want to give it me for... Uh, a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> you have four three fights then if you fight in November and it's just short space of time. Yeah, you? yeah, I, I like to keep busy and uh, November it's just around the corner like we say. And uh, by then I'll be I'll go back to the gym now, assess the video and uh, work on my defence and stuff like that, keep my jab going and whatever and I'll be right, you know. Do you think you could have made it easier for yourself, Tyson? Oh, you yeah. kept it at range. I come here, yeah, to, to put on a fight. You know, yeah. I, I can box like anyone, like just boxing, stand back, and I could have made that one time yeah. with my jab, but yeah. I come here to fight. I'm a fighting man, that's what I do for a living, so I'm, I try to entertain people as well as like box, you know what I mean? No one wants to see paint dry on some man jabbing him around the ring. They want to see blood, snap, swat, everything. They want to <laughs> bust yeah. it, and that's what happened tonight. Two parts of the one question. Did you watch the rugby this morning? I did, I. Are you going to Crow Park tomorrow? Um, we're going to see if we can get down there, yeah, definitely. What do you think of the rugby? I think it's a good game, very good game, and uh, Australia went down today, and hopefully we can get the next one done tomorrow, whenever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Was it inspirational to watch how the Irish stood up to the Aussies today? Well, to be honest with you, Australia is usually a top team at rugby, and I uh, watched it on the telly today, and they've uh, done really well, stuck together as a team, and pushed them back and done just like I'd done that fella just before. Tyson, obviously uh, Price has been mentioned as a pound. Do you think you'd be able to get him over here for a fight? Well, it's all up to Mick Hennessy. He's the promoter. Whoever he gets, David Price, whoever it is next, I'm uh, willing to fight. So. Would you like it to be here? I'd like it to be here. Uh, I'm going to try and beat myself out of Belfast. Is there an exact date for November? Well, November the 12th, I think it is, but um, you know what it's like boxing. can come on and off, on and off. Move of a feast. Yeah, and you don't mind who you face there? If it's a Klitschko, if it's a Rogi? No, or a... I don't mind who it is, to be honest with you. I'm, just, I'm ready to fight. And I'm, that's what I do. So if I'm, any, if I'm any good, I'll win. And if I'm no good, I'll win. So is it somebody, Tyson, who's going to take you closer to the Klitschko? Is that ideally what you would like to Well, he was time? six foot six, you know what I mean? So he's, he had the height, but he never had much else to. Uh, but somebody of yeah. next level up, is that? Well, we're looking at it, but it's, it's hard to find a good heavyweight out there. That's why I'm so, like so much talked about, because I get in there and I actually want to fight. Where these other heavyweights are trying to survive, as you saw with Adam and Klitschko recently. But um, I don't think there's many people out there that can touch me, you know what I mean? When I get my jab going and and work on things a bit more and just take me time, you know, and not rush in a bit. It, uh, everything goes well. You're so I'm just going to... Your own potential, how yeah. far along in your development do you think you are? Well, to be honest with you, I'm learning all the time, getting better every fight, and uh, if I keep stepping up the opponents, then um, I should be getting better quite fast, you know. And you're on Channel 5 as well tonight, a good, exciting heavyweight fight for the terrestrial TV viewers? Yeah, very, I uh, hope it was a good, exciting fight, and uh, they wanted to see a heavyweight fight, and I'm just going to go home, get a shower, and uh, watch the uh, Mayweather Ortiz fight. <laughs> uh, Mayweather will win by unanimous decision, and Alvarez will stop Alfonso Gomez. 
<laughs> West of Ireland, Irish Titan, call my back, no? Um, well, if he wants to fight, he can come and have it. If you, are you going to move up? Whatever. <laughs> 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 Calling him in.